Today, social media is king. From Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, the influence is touched by many. Journalist Annie Petrosin, who graduated from Yvonne University, wrote an article Statistica in 2024, 5.7 billion, or 62% of the world's population, were social media users. Quick connectivity and convenience is great, but the use of social media has made a downcast on productivity, mental well-being, and social connection. We live in a society that has become increasingly digitized. It has become evident that social media has its benefits, but it also has its downsides. From students, teachers, parents, and children, social media use is among all demographics. The vast amount of each social media, the vast amount of reach social media has, has made, has made this discourse important to everyone, since its availability is relatively accessed by all. I come to you not as a social media, not as just a speaker, but as a social media user as well. It is with personal experience that I approach this topic, willing to share my insights to help guide you to healthy digital use. Social media has numerous benefits, but its overuse can lead to negative consequences. There is a need to limit social media use to safeguard our mental health and preserve our personal relationships and productivity. Limiting your use of social media should be a proactive habit in all practice. Today, we will be going over sleep disruption, productivity loss, and how social media use can affect our mental health. Sleep disruption from social media use, especially around bedtime, can interfere with sleep patterns. Lack of sleep can affect the next day plans, productivity, in 2021, assistant professor Azar Prism pointed out that electronic use before bedtime can limit sleep hours, sleep disturbance, and cause sleep disturbances. To avoid sleep disruptions due to social media use, you can put a time limit on how long you use social media before bedtime and also set a time frame so you're using social media well before bedtime so that you don't get distracted and wind up staying up later than you intend to. Okay, um, as far as overusing social media, it can also use, it can also lead to productivity loss. With the potential untapped when we consume our time with so much social media, unlocking new skills and talents, and we lack putting in time for our academic studies. The design of social media is intended to be engaging, and the use of social media can be distracting. From checking messages, new posts and feeds and notifications, that can lead to loss of focus at work and your school obligations. In 2024, Jacqueline Sperling, who has a PhD, stated in The Social Dilemma, to boost social media, I mean, to boost self-esteem and feel a sense of belonging in our social circles, people post content with the hope of receiving positive feedback. Couple that content with the structure of potential future rewards, and you get a recipe for constantly checking platforms. Distractions by social media can lead to procrastination. Focusing on things that makes us feel better. Focusing on things that makes us feel better, um, whether you are a student spending the time to study, a uh, parent spending the time with your family, or an employee utilizing time to improve your work performance, it's a much better way to utilize your time to make yourself more productive. Now that we have gone over the loss of productivity and, destruct and destructive sleep patterns social media uses can cause, we will now discuss its effects on personal relationships. Neglecting family and friends from social media use. Spending a lot of time on social media can cause you to neglect the ones that you love and keep out of present in your real life. From friends, family, children, or romantic partners. In 2024, um, it was reported by Jacqueline Johnson, who has a PhD, more than half, 59% of the 300 participants in our study, reported prolonged use of social media and that had impacted their social interactions, negatively affecting family relationships and friends. Face-to-face -face, face -face interactions are sometimes replaced, creating a gap in building meaningful relationships with friends and family. Social media time can be replaced with meeting with friends in person 
spending time with family and loved ones to help create real life memories. Now, let's turn our attention to the impact social media has on our mental health. Exposure to content and cyberbullying that is like very dense on social media. Social media exposes consumers to trolling, bullying, inappropriate content, and cyberbullying. It also has a negative impact on the way that we see ourselves. It can cause anxiety, depression, and body image issues. The pressure to present a perfect image of your life on social media can lead to anxiety. Depression can develop from constant exposure to seemingly perfect lives of everyone on social media, causing you to compare yourself to what you see others living what we, what we assume is a perfect life. Dr. Barbara Giozza mentioned in her study, for the last 30 years, media, social media has been overexposing people to thinness, idol, thinness, body idols, starting from a young age, turning this idol into a new preference standard. With that being said, I am not suggesting cutting social media off completely. A complete disconnect is not necessary. Social media offers a, flat, a platform to entertain, educate, and connect with others. However, it is a tool that should be used responsibly. Social media has numerous benefits, but its overuse can lead to negative consequences. Social media should be limited. You should minimize its use to safeguard your mental health, preserve your personal relationships, and productivity. Exploring overuse of social media Exploring the use of social media is detri detrimental effects can promote healthy digital use. Replacing or limiting time on social media can open a door to new activities or reactivate previous interests you had. Setting the time limit for social media use, socializing and cursing more, will make you have will help promote a more healthier healthier well being and mind frame. We have gone over social media use negative. We have gone over social media use negatively impacting several, negatively impacting our mental health, personal relationships, and lost productivity due to its overuse of the platform. In conclusion, while the use of social media is entertaining and it should not, but it should not overshadow productivity, mental health, or replace in-person social life interactions. Limiting limiting the use of social media will benefit you and enrich your life your real life, offline. We're not doing it again. <laughs>